Yeah, I thought I was. I would just kind of share with you just a little house tour, so you guys have an idea of the downsizing situation that I had to do. And let me know what you think as far as practicality. I mean, it's definitely not the size of the house that I'm trying to sell, but it's doable. And I just wanted to share with you guys and let me know what you think as far as the size for just basically in the meantime for me and two other people, but more than likely, like I said, my kids are growing up so fast. So basically just for me is what I'm looking at. So doing a house tour here. So this kind of gives you an idea of what my future looks like. <laughs> the future me when I'm uh, by myself and how I'll deal with, you know, just being by myself as opposed to like being in a bigger house with, uh, you know, no one around. So I'll just show you in here. Well, here we go. You walk in. You have a uh, bedroom on the first floor in here. So there's there's two queen beds, which I mean that's good, right? So when I have anybody over, they can stay in the beds down here because this bed's downstairs for guests. Which it would be nice. Hopefully, I will have guests. I won't just be alone all the time, right? Like, I don't want to be alone all the time. And, of course, out here, you have all this. You got trees, palm trees out here. All right. Of course, in here, you got the storage. And let's see. Got the bathroom down here. And then closet. And of course, laundry area. Got to have that. Then we'll go up here. Oh yeah, outside here. Got a little area to sit. Then we go up here. Got the steps. If this thing will ever clear and stuff blurry. I don't put up with that. And up into the common area. So you got the, the kitchen. Which these cabinets remind me of, of my old house before we moved to the bigger house. If you look at the cabinets, like and the granite top is all the same. So it, it, it makes me feel like I'm, I don't know, it just, it kind of brings back some of those memories. Because if you guys have watched some of the older videos, it had the, the color cabinets like this. It definitely brings back those memories. So, you know, I'm all about, I'm all about memories, guys. I'm all about holding on to the memories. So that's something that's great. And then of course, the living room area, which I think is sufficient enough for me, really. Definitely sufficient enough for me. Got some books to read and, you know, I read books. You know, I could read all kinds of books about different states and medical books and I'll go online and read stuff. And so it's nice to be able to do that in, in a quiet area. Then you got the area to eat here. You know, common, in the common area. Then you have the master bedroom with the king bed. Yeah, it's a mess. You know, I'm, I'm just busy. I don't have much time right now, so I'm just trying to get things done. And, you know, I barely watch TV, but it's, you know, it is what it is. You never know, there's something going on with the news I need to know, right? And then, and here's the bathroom. Oh! You know, I think it's sufficient enough for me, right? Don't need, don't need a really big house, right? So, I mean, that's... It's doable. I feel like having too much of a big house would make me feel more lonelier, and I'll get that emptiness syndrome, and that just makes me feel more sad, I guess. You know, don't want to be more sad. And closet area. Got plenty of closet space in here. And 
Let's see here. Oh yeah, I bought me a ninja. I had to get a ninja. But that's it. That's basically it, guys. Oh yeah, outside, there's the area out here. So you know, you got the little place to sit there. Yeah. But that's really it. So this is my humble house tour, okay? Nothing extravagant, nothing big, nothing fancy. You know, just something that's practical for me. And I feel like this is this is how it's gonna have to be. You know, I I can't be staying in that big house all the time. I can't be living there. I gotta sell it. I cannot even afford to keep it. And this is way more practical for my needs, especially considering my future living situation. So I don't know if you guys can comment below, but like I said, I have a way to allow comments to work on this channel by having links to those comments. So just check in that little I, it's over there. Wherever it is, click on it. It takes you to the comments that I have created, the comment section so you can comment there. But anyway, I gotta go. I got a lot to do, but I thought I would do this little humble tour. Nothing fancy, nothing really big, but it's practical and affordable. This is a rental, this, this is not a house that I own. But if I sell my house, then a rental ends up being the possibility of a house that I own. So, it's kind of like when you work a temporary job for a company, you know, you work as a temp, through a temp agency, and you're there temporarily, and you get lower wages and, lo and less benefits, right? And there's no job security, well, it usually isn't anyway. And uh, then there's a possibility you may get hired on full time. So basically, a situation like this is downsizing into a rental, which is affordable, but renting and living in a, in a house that I cannot afford at the same time simultaneously is not affordable. But when you have a good friend who flips houses and owns a lot of these properties, and he says, hey, you wanna stay here? Help me with this project, help me with that. And I do that, and I get a feel for different homes and what what's gonna work out for me when it's my time to move and downsize on my own and that's coming really soon and trying to get the house sold by the new year and don't know how that's going with the lot I mean it may be sold I have a builder that had expressed interest in it and we did sign a contract but there's some contingencies in that contract which could it result in them not buying the land, so they gotta do some testing and all that, so we'll see how that goes. But I just wanna let you guys know, because I'm definitely in no financial position to be able to rent a place while waiting, so this situation here could be a more permanent situation for me once the house is sold, and that's the way it is. Since I'm out here on a business trip, taking care of some business, I was able to have accommodations in the meantime, thanks to my good friend, who is able to offer that for me. And this may be more permanent because he does flip houses and sell them. And he said he'd give me a good deal so that it wouldn't, you know, he might charge me less selling it. But he mainly does rent them. So it may be a rent to own, maybe rent it for a couple years and own it. But I won't be able to start renting until I sell the house because I can't afford renting out on a, a house, not even an apartment really, while still having any other house to, to make payments on. And, and the insurance and the taxes and all that stuff, the utilities, you know it, you name it, it all adds up. So once that's all straightened out, who knows, you may be seeing me here or maybe one of his other units somewhere and maybe some units that he owns. It's just hard to tell, but we'll see what happens. So I'm playing it by ear, guys. Just wanted to add that in there so you guys are not confused when I'm saying I'm doing my new humble house tour, whatever it may be, because this is basically a projection into my future, because this may be the exact place I'll be at. Uh, I kind of take, I have a liking to this. I really like it. I really like the way it is. It's convenient. It's near everything. If the price is right and it's affordable, and, and this may not be my option, I may have to go further inland. I mean, we're, we're you know, it's one of those things. I, I don't want to be too close to the ocean. I know it, it becomes more expensive when you're near the ocean. So basically, I'm just kind of, like I said, just feeling things out, seeing if I could be able to, to handle such a change. And especially being alone. It's like, I don't want to be in a big home being alone, but I don't want to be in a, in, a, in a home that makes me feel closed in because then, I don't know, I'm very energetic. I have a lot of energy. I got to move around a lot and I need more open space to kind of like let that energy out. So. For me, having a home that has more living space is easier for me with my energy levels. Um, 
but not nothing too big because then it's an extreme especially if I'm living by myself because you know maybe a year and a half from now that's what the case that's what the, the reality is going to be you know my kids don't stay kids forever all right that's it I think I'm done take care